Hello guys, I'm Brian from the SAP MM Consultant channel. I'm here to help you with some MM topics, processes and settings so even if you don't have much experience you can successfully implement them. Our topic for today is stocks transport order with draw determination. We will check what settings are required in the system and with some examples we will see how the complete process works. This process is used in all kinds of industry. So let's start. As you know, STO can be handled at different levels, from plan to plan or from storage location to storage location. In the case of plan to plan, if the supplying plan and the buying plan belongs to the same company code, this is called like an intra-company process. If both plans, buying plan and supplying plan, belongs to different company code, this is an inter-company process. In, in our case of today, we will see the intra-company process, but all the settings are very similar to the inter-company. So let's start. We will start the process with MD04 with the stored requirement list. Our buying plant will be 1300, but we have a requirement, a PAR of 10 units. Our supply plant is 1100, where we will have only 5 units in stock. Let's go back to our buying plant and we will run MRP single level. We see now that we create one purchase requisition. To be able to create this requisition directly from MRP, we have to define first our source list in the buying plant. Here we link our material within a validity period with the vendor and supplying plant. Then we fix it and we, and we said that this is prevalent to MRP. As you know, in this case, the supplying plant has to be linked with a vendor number and the buying plant will be linked to a customer number. Now we can see our requisition for 10 units in the 1300 plant and we see that the supplying plant is 1100. As source or supply and based on the source list, we will see all the information here. So now we can convert this requisition in a STO. We, we, there are many ways to do this, but in our case, I will do this manually from the transaction to create documents. So we first change the document type to UB because this is intra company. In the case of inter company, you will use the standard MB document type. We call our requisition, and the first screen is this ATP check screen. So here we will see that the request delivery date before the 20th of June and we are requesting 10 units. But we saw in the stock that the supplying plan we have only five units. So in this case we can confirm for the request date only those five. The other five units here are confirmed for the 21st of July, that this is the end of the lead time. Why? Because our ATP check is using replenishment lead time. We will see this in the customizing. Okay, let's go now through some points in the customizing. We are in material management, purchasing, purchase order, set up stock transport order. We need to define, as we said, shipping data for plants. In this case, the buying plant has to be linked to a customer. In the same way, we mentioned that the vendor in the purchasing view 
will be linked to the supply implant. What else do we have in the customizing? We have to define the check-in rules. In our case, we thought that we are using 01 as checking rule with replaying image, image lead time. This comes from MRP3 view in the supply plant. We have 01. We have assigned delivery type and checking rule, and this is the key point to be able to create the STO, as we need to define by document type and supply implant our delivery type. In the case of intra-company, we use NL, the standard delivery type, and in the case of inter-company, you will use NLCC, delivery type. Our check-in rule is A, okay? Here we are, we have activated shipment scheduling and route scheduling, so we can use this with route determination. And the rule for adoption of the check-in, rule for adoption of ATP check-in rule, we're using here E. This E is delivery proposal, and in this case, we will have in the schedule tab, one schedule for the request information with the request delivery date and request quantity, and we could have another one or more schedule lines with the commitment information. So if we see our document in our delivery schedule, we have one line with the request information, 10 units for the 20 of June, and based on these settings, here we are having two commit schedule lines. In this case, we have one commit with five units that can be commit as requested because we have five units in stock, and the other is what the other one is commit from the end of the replenishment lead time. Here we have all the dates. So we need this for the 20 of June. We have one day of good receipt processing time. So the good receipt end day is the 21st. Here we will see that we have a route determined with three days transit time. So for the 20th of June, if we open our calendar, for the 20th of June, we have the weekend here, so we don't count that because this is working days. We have one, two, three transit time days, so the good issue day should be on the 15th. Okay. Then we have one day of loading time, and so we are on the 14th, and then we have one day of pick pack time, so we arrive on the 13th. Pick pack time and loading time are set in the shipping point. So if we check our shipping point definition, we are using shipping point 1100, and we will see that we have one day of loading time, one day of pick pack time. Then we will also need to maintain the shipping point determination. So here, this is determined by shipping condition and loading group and supplying plant. So this is how 1100 shipping point is determined. Shipping condition is taken from the vendor map for the customer master loading group from the material master. Okay, go back. So this is how all these dates are calculated. If we go to the shipping tab, 
we see the delivery type NL is determined. We have the shipping point determination, delivery priority shipping condition comes from the customer master, laundry group, transportation group, from material master, and then we have our route determination. In the case that you are using route, the system will take the transit time in the route as offsetting number of days between the buying plan and the supplying plan. If you don't use route, the offsetting days will be calculated based on the PTT. So how this route is determined? The route, so let's go again to our customizing. For routes, this is determined based on addresses. Okay. Standard SAP take the address from the shipping point and the address from the customer. And it is checking the departure country and departure transportation zone and destination country, destination transportation zone. We are not using weight groups. So for our shipping condition 02, we have our route north-south route three days, 100012. That is the route we have here. And as we explained, use to determine the offsetting times in this tab. Now, we can save it. We have our STO. This is our number. So when we have the STO, we can create our outbound delivery, VL10B transaction, shipping point. And we include document number and supply plant. This is our document. We create now the outbound delivery. Here in the log, we can see the document number. So this is our outbound delivery. Let's take a look to the delivery. As you can see here, we have our five units delivery because this is only for the commit quantity that we have in stock. This material is handled in batches and we see that that the batch was already determined. This is because I have made the settings for batch search strategy. I have made also another video, so you can check that on my channel. So let's do the picking. This is using WM as a warehouse. So, okay, now we have our picking done and confirm. We can see it from here. Yeah. So now we can post the good issue. We made the good issue. Now our material document for the transfer is created. We can see in our report for display stock in transit, in our receiving plan, we have these five units in transit. You can also check MMBE for the stock. So the last, the last part is just to receive the stock in transit. So we will make a good receive. We can use album delivery or you or can use the STO. Uh, good receive. Possibly. I am blocking the document somehow. Yeah. Okay, so now we have received the document. So if we check our buying plan, now we will have these five units. 
If you enjoyed this demo, please click on like and subscribe to my channel as I continuously upload.